I know I said no more reviews, but this is one I just couldn't resist. So yes, it is this, the Hellchamp Class 35 Hi-Mac. And like I say, it's a very nice model. It used to run horribly, but now it is one of my favourite engines. Seriously. To say it's a hell engine, which also criticism goes into, but personally, I think it's beautiful. Anyway, enough rant about Helljan. Uh, let's take a quick look at the end of the box. So, what is it? Uh, it is a class uh, 35 Hymec D7042, I think. And the actual barcode and tag number, uh, tags, uh, model shop, that's not a pun or anything. But the original tag number is behind it, and the product code is 3503, if you want to look it up. Uh, well, go on to Helljan's website and see what they have to offer. Anyway, let's open this up instead of waffling on about a box. So I've moved the camera slightly out, and by the way, instead of opening it from the end like you would normally with a Hornby or Batman box, it opens from the top like that. And yet this is just a uh, cardboard thing that's got some horrible glue lines inside. Anyway, we'll just lob that over there. Uh, and by the way, there's the lovely sort of protective foam, which is very thick. Feel that, that's satisfying how thick it is. It's amazing, look, it's glistening. It's, that'll protect the location if you stand on it. Well, I don't think it'll protect it if you stood on it. But again, let me just throw that over there. And here she is then, in all her home and glory. And uh, yeah, again, lots more protective packaging. I think this just comes off, but I'll take the loco out just like this. And I'll put the loco to the side. Let me make sure there's no paperwork hiding in the bottom of this box. And again, some more thick foam stuff. And again, here is some more and some more funny coloured cardboard. Let me just pop these back, uh, well, these things back in here. And let me show you the loco in the hand. Right then, there she is then, in, well, in the hand. As you can see, she feels quite heavy. And yeah, not much metal on her, but we'll get her up close and well see how much detail she's got so this is probably one of the most detailed uh well locos i've got so we'll start at the front and work our way back to well this end over here if i just bring the camera back yes so up front she has got quite a lot of detail so like i say she's got quite a lot of detail the uh, little hand uh, not handrails the yeah little handrails here and the window wipers there's one horn missing which is kind of sad but well tells life and 2H, and I know that wasn't there probably when you bought it, it probably just come with lights. Well, it has got lights, I'll show you in a bit. Because it won't be running on this railway, but it will be running on the harbour layout that I showed you in last video, actually. Uh, anyway, yeah, so, uh, speaking about detail, she's got lots of handrails, as you can see. No sprung buffers, a shame, but well, again, she's got lots of painted, uh, not painted, she's got lots of uh, ha uh, pipes on the front, sorry about that. And the lights, like I say, come through these little things here and here. And by the way, she's got the little warning symbols up there if the camera just focuses. Cab detail-wise, she hasn't really got that much, as you can see, but as much as she's got, it is quite good. And this is probably the most impressive piece here at the front. Oop, the camera piece here is getting in the way. There you go, sorry. Uh, D7042, as you can see, and there's more cab detail in there. There's a funny sort of green thing at the back over there. That's just a sort of problem with the plastic moulding, but we'll not talk about that. As you can see, these things are legible, but the camera is not picking it up. Ah! It doesn't matter. Anyway, that'll be like a builder's plate and the class 35 classifications. So, yes, there's these little handrails here, and the door handle is picked out in that lovely little silver colour. In fact... Is it separately fitted? No, it's just moulded. And the piece round the windows here is just beautiful. Uh, moving on, you've got the little emergency door here next to the thing for people to get in. Instead of going all the way through the cab this way, they can just go in here. And here's quite a lot of detail. B, I don't know what that means. There's a little symbol, which might, it might mean to have writing on it. I don't know. Uh, the B.R. Timpkin things here aren't picked out. And it doesn't say B.R. Timpkin. In fact, it says it, but they're not painted. And there's lots of springs and stuff underneath the bogies for you to take in. And there is, in fact, a separately fitted ladder, which sometimes does come off. Uh, yep, it doesn't matter. Uh, and I have to glue it back on. Here is the radiator grill, which, again, is not etched or anything, but you're not going to expect it. I think this model is about 20 years old now, something like that, and they still make the tooling today. And it's quite a detailed-looking, uh, well, quite a detailed model, that's what I'm saying. 
Here's the British Rail Badge. Uh, no scuffs in the paintwork, only one at the top there, but that's probably just a little scratch from me. And around here, there's quite a lot of detail uh, as well on this bogey and underneath the fuel thing. On top, there's quite a bit of detail. Again, one of the horns is missing, but at this end, I think it is fine. Yeah, they're both horns there. Uh, the fan or anything doesn't move, and it's not a separately fitted piece. It's just moulded, not very nicely, on top. So let's get this engine running on my little harbour layout. So you're down at the little harbour layout, and let's test her crawl. So I think she'll be good when it comes to crawling. But, oh yeah, that's just amazing. <laughs> I didn't even get time for the butt, and it just started, well, crawling. Look at that, and I can go even slower. You can't even tell she's moving, but she is. And she doesn't need running in or anything, because I've had her for quite a while. And she's probably been running enough. And by the way, she can get some good speed, as you can see. And I'm not going to do it on this railway, because it's not the biggest in the world. Anyway, we'll run up and down this railway, and I'll get a few shots. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little review. It's not the best review ever, it's not the biggest, it's not the most exciting, but well, it is one to suit the please. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.